this is Julie from Julie's Creations, aka Grandma J Bug. I am making some plarn. And I've already done the first of the process where you even it all out and get the handles where they need to be. Then you're going to start folding, 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 and then you fold again in half, then one more time in half. Okay, and don't worry about the handles because we're going to be cutting those off. So, right here, we cut, and the handles are gone, and the bottom, we're going to cut that too, so let's cut the bottom off. Okay, so the bottom is off, and this bag is ready for cutting into plarn. Okay. <clears throat> so, I usually just eye it. Some people would measure. Uh, depends on how thick you want your plarn. I mean, you could have it have it this Super thick right thick. here. You could have it this thick. You could have it this thick even. I am going to eye about right there. And cut. And this is about the size that I've been cutting my plarn. As I do it. So let's cut some more. And you might want to use sharper scissors than I'm using. Um, and you just cut as many pieces as you can out of one bag. Right there. There. I usually get twelve or thirteen, but some of them are a little bit smaller than the others. And well, you know what? These two ended up way smaller than I like, so they're going into the garbage can. Okay, but the rest of them are the right size. So, um, everybody does this part a little bit differently. I'm just going to show you the way I do it because it's easier for me. You get the end and then you get your other end. You put it like this. Then I take this end and put it through the end that you just put into and then 
you start pulling tight. There we go. And then you get your next one. These are very staticky clean because I've been doing this for a while. And Okay, you have it like this. You take your other end. You stick it through. Pull it tight. And then you've got it. Okay, you open up the next one. Then you take the end like this, and you take this end like this, and you put it up. Make sure you keep that end open because you're going to be taking this end and putting it through. Ooh. That did not just happen. I did not know there was a hole in this yarn, but never fear. You can fix it. It may be shorter than the other ones, but okay, come on. You gotta go right here. Yes. No. <sighs> okay. Let's get you like this. And that will make it easier. Okay. And... There we go. Just cut the ends a little bit. If I can get a hold of the end. Okay, now let's tighten it up a little more. Yes, that's tight. So that's what you can do if your plarn tears. It's okay. And then when it won't knot up, There we go. You make it knot up. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Everybody knows that sometimes you have problems with, with plastic bags because they are plastic bags. So, we're putting this through, keeping a hold of the end, and we're going to take the other end and bring that through, and pull it as tight as you can. There we go. 
I don't do it too awful tight. And take this one. You stick it through that one and hold on to it. Then you take this end, you stick it through, and ah, the static cling is too much. I have static cling here. And so it's hard to get the, this separated because of that. But I, I did it. Okay, take it, stick it through. Make sure both sides are even. You take your other end and you stick it through. And you pull it good. Okay, go on to the next one. Open it up, take this one, stick it through this one, take a hold of it, then you take your other end here and stick it through. Make sure both sides are even. Do what you can to make it work, but make sure that both sides of this one are even. Because sometimes it just doesn't want to knot up. And it gets irritating. I think the static cling is working against me at this point. Against me. Against me. Okay. There's that. Breaking knot. Things over there? No, I'm not breaking a thing. At least not right now. I did. I think you're breaking things. I did break some stuff, but I fixed it. Take it and put it through. Both sides are even. Okay, let's take this one. the end and put it through, put the other end through. I'm doing this a little bit faster now because y'all have seen me do it a few times and because I'm on the last one. Okay, and make sure it's even, then pull it, and 
And I'll show you what I do once I get it all on there, the one bag. I have been doing this all the way through. I take and do my winding between each of them so that I don't have a lot of the stuff like all over the place. And I just got my hair out of this. And that's probably causing some of the static cling. Okay, and I have one more gray bag to do. So, I am going to get it ready. And I'm going to show you how I do it. I try to get it so that both sides work together and that both sides are the same up top. It makes it a lot easier when you go to, oh, <laughs> what was bought at Walmart? Brownie mix, brownie mix, brownie mix, Cheerios, mini wheats. Not sure what that is. Ah, so I think I think the guys went to Walmart one time for groceries instead of, or this bag could be really old, and it was when our new grocery store up the street was not built yet. Okay, so you get it all. Go from bottom to top because you want the bottom even. Okay. There we go. Fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. Then one more time in half. Now, we're going to cut the handles off then we're going to go and cut the the bottom off and because I evened it all out there's not going to be anything stuck together down at the bottom. And then, of course, we're going to cut again. But you've already seen that. So this ends my tutorial on making plarn. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you make some of your own. I will see you around on the YouTube streets, and I hope you have a good day. God bless you. See you later. Bye.